Both posting stellar numbers there out in BC as this one's cleared up from Ryan Mashey jumping to it, maybe creating a two-on-one. Mashey tries to feed it across. Borsch goes down to the ice. Quick feed in front, tap, puck loose. And RPI celebrating like they've got a goal. Referee's got his arms in the air. Reed Liebold was on the doorstep there saying that the puck went across. I think the officials are going to come over and take a look. Puck bounding around in front, and that's going to be a goal. Looks like it's going to be a goal pushed in there by Dubinsky just based off that first replay. Bring it out with the forechecking pressure there from Shane Seller. Puck gotten to by Borsch, tipped forward by Dorfman. Now Chisholm with some speed. Chisholm trying to push his way in towards the net, stood up and knocked down by Klee. Great play made there by Mason Klee, the sophomore D-man of Morrison, Colorado. Linden leaving here for Johnson, looking for an angle, then it drops it back for Linden, shot save, rebound loose in front of the crease. Dartmouth trying to cover it up, it's pushed back out. Lebanon comes away, one-timer, hits the underside of the bar from Linden. Chaos in the attacking zone as this one's ripped by by Adamo. Tor Linden nearly had his team leading 12th of the season. one tire from Johnson, that one deflected by Lebanon at the front, and Borsch gives a little chuck there after the whistle. Dartmouth tries to catch him in the change. Townley will throw it in deep, but can't quite get to it. He'll throw a shoulder into Shelberg, and now the big ring will come away. Quick feed in front and a tip there by Gallant coming down the slot, and he pushes it just wide. Okay, a chance to face off here tonight is long change for both teams are going the opposite direction here in period number two on the fresh sheet wrapped over and around. Turns over, Dorfman pushing towards the net from a bad angle, feeding in front, unruined the doorstep. It's turned aside by Watson. Number of games and push them a little bit forward, give them some separation as they look to try and fight for a top four spot. This one's sent and deflected on the doorstep by Adamo. Bad angle shot coming here from Ashley. But goes all the way through the crease, backhand attempt. Stevenson down on the ice. Still loose, Massey tries to elevate, can't get it through the thick of the white sweaters in front, and Stevenson somehow able to cover it offside. Palasic with it back in his own end. Goals in two of his last three for Tanner Palasic, but has it knocked off his stick here, and it comes to Linden. Linden rips a shot blocker side that Stevenson pushes away. Gallant and Chisholm to pursue along the half wall. Comes here to Palasic. Dorfman holding, being patient as the big green light look to try and set up their structure. Cross it comes, Palasic one-timer, deflects in front, open net for the moment. And now we're going to have a penalty coming up here, and this one is going to go on the big green. And a slash to be whistled down here against Braden Dorfman. So we'll have a minute 24. As you see this puck just ping-ponging in front. Lively shot there by Palasic went off a couple of innings here. RPI changing out, so now Gallant will be patient with the puck and from in front of his own net. Look to try and bring it out. Gallant carrying through with speed. Gallant towards the front of the net, pushes a shot. Gallant from his knees and the pad save made by 160, but he's not afraid to mix it up and that time going prone to the ice and not allowing the Shane Seller pass to get through. Liebold to the front of the net, rebound loose in front outside the paint and Stevenson will gather with the glove as we got to tangle up. With some of the best in the conference, mentioned they had that game against Harvard on January 25th. That a two nothing shutout win, but this one turned over here. Pierce up ice with Urbank, potentially two on one. Pierce holding, driving on that, fires, and Watson makes the stop. Good hustle there by Chelberg to get back in the play to help cut it down as Pierce looking for an angle here. Didn't have the pass that he wanted across to Urbank, so he elects to fire, but Watson able to stay back behind the play. On we continue to go as the referees will keep an eye. Lebanon dropping it in front, looking there for Laka. And his shot goes aside to the corner. Ottavile, Lebanon, great shift for him. Surdy with it now. Leaving one-timer, whistled there by Beaton, but goes well. Worked there by Shane Seller. Stretch pass to Dorfman near the half moon. He can't control, but nice job by Chisholm to produce the turnover in the attacking end. Dorfman backing up, shot towards that. Puck loose outside the crease and covered up here by Watson. A little bit of a tangle up after that, but Watson's able to track it and put the glove down and freeze it. Engineers look around and it comes to Linden. Tor Linden, two power play goals on the season tie for the team lead. Leaving up top for Johnson, rebound in front. This one punched in. T.J. Walsh on the doorstep is able to convert on the power play and the engineers take a 2-0 lead. You see the rebound right there. Walsh down to a knee and is able to get stick to the spinning puck and just punch it in past Clay Stevenson for the engineer's second time.